Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin, better known as Tiamo Erin, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. So a few days ago, I lived in a van. <laughs> I've always wanted to try and live in a van. A lot of like millennials, they're all into this like tiny home living, van life. I watched like a million videos about van life. All the videos I've seen, they, the people are just so adventurous and it seems so like comfortable and they just live these like fantastic lives. And in combination with that, I'm also like really into like personal finance and this podcast I've been listening to called Choose FI is all about the fire movement and retiring early. So then I started thinking, okay, so for me to reach financial independence early and retire early, I probably have to get my living costs down. So if I got my living costs to be free, by living in a van, I could reach fire. Like I could reach financial independence. So I was like, why don't, no brainer, I, I have to live in this van. And everybody on the internet who does it seems like they're so happy. So I was like, I gotta try this, I gotta do it. So first I had to find a van. So I looked outside my window, like I am doing now, and I see my sister's car. I was like, we have a van. I agreed with her, hey, let's switch cars. You can have my Honda Civic. I have a 2010 Honda Civic and I'll have your van for two days. She was like, fine, let's do it. I think you're crazy, but let's do it. So in order for the van to be spacious enough for me to be in it, we had to take out the second row and the third row. And taking out the third row was kind of difficult. So I think, pull, push this back. Push. Okay, no, that ain't. I think we need to use Google. You don't know how to. I ain't never, never done this. So no. how do you know it works? Cause I, Cause I seen daddy do it. It's the lift lever number two. It's unlocked. He ain't showing us how to move the lever. He did it. Then I needed to ventilate the van. On the days that I decided to do this, it wasn't too bad. The first night was cold, the second night was all right. It's like, I wanna ventilate. How do van life people stay warm? And through some of the videos I found, they ventilate the windows with this like shiny stuff. I don't know what it's called. But I went to Home Depot, got the stuff. And then I went to Joann's and got this felt material because I don't wanna look at like, this shiny material that I got from Home Depot for two days. So I was like, I need something black to like black it out. And it's so easy to cut. I just cut it with some scissors. The felt was easy to cut, cut that with scissors. And then I just used a stapler to staple the felt to the shiny material. Then all I did was use duct tape to actually plaster it to the windows. This is very much a temporary fix. So I was not trying to make it like fit. My cutting wasn't perfect. I was like, hey, that just whatever I can last me for two days, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, oh God. This is a 2000 Suburban. My dad bought this car when, this is our like family car. He bought it when I was eight. I really wanna see about this van life. I really do. I'm so intrigued. I'm 5'8". Can you see kind of how big it is? I don't know if this is even helpful. Do I just look stupid? Well, if you look up, um, you'll see a disgusting roof with these like brown spots on it. That is because there was a Coke bottle left in here and the pressure was whatever the pressure and then the window went down and then the can burst in the air. So, you know, I get to look at a lovely dirt ceiling. The car is so old. See, the seats are just like gross and like done. Then I started decorating the van. I got a couple rugs from Target um, so I could have my living room area. Then I got a blow up mattress from Target as well. I bought this shower curtain to like hide here. The only rule of this entire process was I could not go inside of my home. Like this place, I could not be in this place. I couldn't eat in the house. I couldn't use the restroom in the house. I couldn't shower. I couldn't brush my teeth in the house, nothing. The first night that I was supposed to get into the van, I started having major anxiety. I have been having really, really, really bad anxiety all day. The beginning of the day, I was so excited. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna live in this van. Talking about van life. We're gonna get our cost of living down. Like, I was just so for it. Now I'm like, okay, well, why, where's this anxiety coming from? Like, I'm like, I don't wanna get in the van. <laughs> I don't wanna get in there. I'm not scared for my like safety. I am not really scared. I'm just anxious. And I realized that my anxiety literally controls my life. I figured out that it's because I don't leave my room. I like to film my videos in my space. I don't like to change. I think this experience is gonna force me to step outside of myself more than I have in a very long time. 
But it's like, it's just a van. Why am I experiencing so many feelings right now? And I think it's because I just don't do anything new. Like the van life people, they're so adventurous and they like travel and they just like go with the flow type people. I'm not that. I feel like if I don't go now, I'm never gonna go. Okay, I can do this, so I can do this. This really sucks because one, my neighbors are here. They're gonna see me crawling in there like a freaking maniac. Two, this is the last time I'm able to go in my house. All right, I can't believe I'm doing this. What the is wrong with me? What the hell is wrong with me? Hold on, let me lock this damn door. This is the weirdest thing I've ever... Okay, I got some light for a little while, all right. Okay, two seconds. All right, so I got some fairy lights so I could see in the dark. It's not so bad in here. It's not that cold because of the insulation. Thank God. The first night wasn't horrible. It was cold, <laughs> but it wasn't horrible. The blow up mattress is a dream. I freaking love it. It is 5.48. Even though I was anxious, it wasn't like horrible. I'd give it like a six. Children in my neighborhood get on the school bus at 7.30. So I needed to hightail it out of here before all the kids like come running to the school bus. In the morning, I went to LA Fitness to brush my teeth and get dressed for yoga. I went right next door to Publix, grabbed a banana for breakfast, and then rushed over to yoga. I went back to LA Fitness to take a shower, and I will say the LA Fitness showers are really nice. It was very clean, the water pressure was high, it was hot. Like, I would not mind showering at the gym. Like, no one was there when I was there. It's two words. So the T E is one word and then A M O is one word. Oh, I take all those one word. <laughs> <laughs> then I went to work. I was very embarrassed to like even like park my car near my co my coworkers and like where I usually park, so I parked way in the back. No one ever saw that I was driving suburban to work for those two days. Then once I got to work, the first order of business was to add the van's license plate to my parking permit because I'm not trying to get a ticket. So it's actually really warm in here. Because I'm in a garage, it just feels so good in here. And I want to change, but every time I close the door, the light turns off. Hmm. I just want to change out of my clothes. I just slightly close it. Have a lot of space guys look how much space i have this is my living room at night obviously that all this stuff will go up there and then this will come down but it feels pretty nice in here but i can't just sit in here i feel like people who live in van life are just like full of adventure they just don't sit in their bus all day and they you know, drive around and explore. Like that's the point of their van. So an introvert like me, even though I would love to just be by myself, me sitting in this van, I'm gonna, I would drive myself crazy. <sighs> so I'm gonna go to Starbucks. I'm gonna read The Alchemist um, for a couple hours. So yeah, let's go. So 
So I stayed at Starbucks until it closed because I didn't just want to be in the van. Like I found myself like avoiding the van. I found a Starbucks that like stayed open till 10 p.m. All the other ones stayed open till 8 p.m. But then creepy people started coming in. Well, I was like, all right, it's time for me to go. Okay. Oh, my freaking door is closed. Okay, all right, all right, it's back on. All right, let me hurry that off. <laughs> no, why the f did you turn it off? All right, let's hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, my freaking back. These fairy lights are. Push this. Whenever I need the space in the van, or like to change or like move into like my living room type area, I would move my bed sideways. But then when I needed to like sleep again, I'd have to like work with it to bring it back down. These stupid fairy lights getting on my nerves now. Stop falling. Uh, how? how, how? Uh, uh. What you think about my space? I think it's very comfy looking. Just, you know, big old bed. Yeah. It's just, just the bed. Yeah. But I turn it sideways for my living room. Oh, you turn it sideways for your living room? Yes. What do you do in your living room? Um, change my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like 6.45. I have had to pee for two hours. I can't hold it anymore. I've never had to pee so bad in my entire life. Oh. I hope nobody's looking at me. Hi, good morning. Um, can I get a plain bagel? Oh, I am so happy. I'm so freaking happy that this car is no longer mine. All right. Eureka! I want my Honda on my bed. I haven't been in my home for two freaking days. I'm just... I'm over it. Cause I see you perfect. How you laugh, how you giggle at my jokes that makes me nervous. <laughs> Would I ever live in a van again? Hell no. So by day two, I was over it. I just realized through the entire experience, I really enjoy open spacing. I like living smaller, I'm cool with that, but living that small, it's not worth it for me. So I'll have to reach financial independence in another way. Me living in a van, it's not gonna happen, but maybe a tiny house. I maybe could do a tiny house. But all in all, I'm so happy that I did it because I just, I felt out of my element. I felt uncomfortable. I didn't know where I was gonna be. Like if I had to go to the restroom, where was I gonna go to the restroom if I had to go to the restroom? Like where was I gonna shower? Like not knowing what could happen the unknown really like put me in an uncomfortable place which i appreciate and i'm glad that, like to get out my comfort zone but now that i know that that's something that's just not for me i'm happy to like move on to other things <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one bye